What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an absolutely awesome morning or afternoon or whatever time it is where you're at. Uh, in this video, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Yesterday, I put up a video on my Instagram where it was me playing this BMX video game and everyone was blowing up my DMs like, what is this game? Where can I get it? So in this video, I'm going to show you the game called BMX Streets Pipe. Uh, pretty much I uh, discovered it by watching a YouTuber called The Old Potato. He plays it on his channel and and uh, I was really intrigued and until now you couldn't play it on console, but uh Finally, you can play it on Xbox, and I've downloaded it, and obviously I'm going to review it today and just tell you what I like and don't like about the game, and then I'm going to show you how you can get it yourself on a PC or Xbox. So uh, let's check out my little gaming setup, because I don't know if you've seen it before, but let's check it out. Alright, so obviously I don't have a proper filming setup, but uh, this is where I play my video games. You can see here, Drift is just chilling out. Uh, I got my laptop doing some stuff. It's pretty messy in here, so forgive me for that. But uh, pretty much, I'm going to be playing here, and I can uh, download this screen, so I'll be able to put that in the video. But right now, we're going to be sitting right here. Hopefully this works. I've never done this sort of thing before, but let's see if it works. Alright, so here we are at the main menu. Uh, hopefully all this looks good on your display, so if it does, let me know. And if it doesn't, also let me know. Because obviously I'm an amateur, I've never done this before, and I want it to look good. But uh, here we have it, BMX Streets Pipe. So I'm pretty sure that they've had other games, but uh, this is the newest one and the only one available on Xbox right now. And uh, so it's Ride the Pipe, Training Grounds, Quit, obviously. But um, if you have never played this game, I do suggest just straight away go to the training grounds. You're not going to be able to figure this out on your own very quickly. Uh, if you're like me and you've played a lot of Skate 3, you're going to be stoked on the controls, but you're also going to be a little confused at first like I was because obviously I've been playing Skate 3 so long now that I'm just uh, so used to the controls. And I would say when I was first playing it, I would get the gist, but I would stuff up a lot of things because I would automatically go to my Skate 3 part of my brain and start playing like that. But uh, let's hit up the training grounds first off. Alright, so as you can see, it's pretty much like Skate 3. I mean, you move with the left analog stick like you turn. And then you bunny hop with uh, the right analog stick. And there's a bunch of other controls which you'll figure out. But pretty much right now, you see I crouch, I flick it up, I hop. And uh, it's not like the flick tricks in Skate. You actually have to hold certain buttons to do certain things. So this right button is your right hand. This is your left hand. This is your right foot. This is your left leg. And then you hold them both together to do simultaneous tricks. So to do a bar spin... I'll basically hold these top two buttons and flick down when I'm in the air. So you'll see, I'll jump and, oh no, that wasn't a bar spin. <laughs> As you can see, I'm already stupid, but uh, you hold one, that's right. So this will be this way bar spin and this will be the other way bar spin. And then tail whip is both legs and to the side. Oh, I can't ride for crap. Let's do it again. Oh my God, I can't tail whip flat. I can't tell it flat. What is this? I gotta hold down longer. What the fudge? I know you can tell it flat. There we go. Tell it flat. Uh, I'm gonna get straight into the other pipe thing, but uh, there's obviously trampolines. I haven't really hit them up much, but that's a trampoline and it jumps. And they actually go pretty big on it. Let's do a three whip off real quick. Ooh. That didn't work. Okay, let's try that again. Jump on, jump off, three down whip, cool. But uh, yeah, pretty much to go forwards, you have to like tap, so I get a really sore thumb playing this game, but I'm not gonna make any excuses. Oh. All right, main menu. Sounds like my phone's ringing, no it's not. All right, ride the pipe. Here we go. So obviously this is all we're working with right now. Currently there's only two levels, the training ground and the pipe. But uh, I'm not complaining because I pretty much played this for six hours yesterday and I'm still not bored. <laughs> uh, obviously, when you first jump into this game, it's really goddamn hard. So don't expect to be able to just jump on and be able to do all this stuff. I basically spent an hour of my time just doing this. Like, I knew how to pedal, but I didn't know how to pump. So my first air is decent, but then 
it's pretty much downhill from then on if you don't know how to play the game. Um, but basically after two hours, I pretty much figured out how to, to pump and pump around and actually do tricks. But as you can see here, there's like the rail part and uh, there's a fun box over here that you can do a bunch of tricks on. But uh, I know a lot of people have just been hitting up the street spots because they're pretty fun. As you can see like that. But um, yeah, pretty much. Let's get into some other things. Obviously you see right there, this is the lifesaver of the game. You can set a marker. So you'll see I'll put a marker there. And then I'll pretty much push this button, push this button. And I go back to the same spot. But uh, let's get into some of the tricks. And I'll just have a little jam session. All right, I'll have a quick session, and uh, just keep in mind that I'm not crazy good at this game yet. So, uh, if I fall over, my bad. <laughs> I just love how, like, realistic everything is. Like, you land the slightest bit sideways, and you're screwed. As you can see, well, that wasn't the slightest bit. That was fully sideways, but, uh... This is one thing I don't like about this game, is, um... I mean, obviously, it's in training stage, so, like, it's... This is nowhere near like what the final product is, I'm sure of it, but uh, shout out to MASH games by the way, Legends, but um, pretty much you, you like can't run to the side, you have to like run so walk like a stick person basically, and I don't even know why you spawn off your bike, I guess it's because you fall off and to be realistic they make it so that you have to get back on, but that's kind of annoying for me. But uh, luckily having this feature where it resets you, it like fully saves your life. But um, you can also do unrealistic tricks, like double backy fakies, first try, run into the wall. But uh, yeah, you get the gist. But one thing I have found annoying is that you can't flare whip easy. Like it's so hard to land a flare whip. But I have done it before, so... Let's try. Let's try get this. But I'm gonna I'm gonna one up it though. I'm gonna go flare wit, flare wit bar. Ugh. Damn it! All right, flare wit bar. Come on. No! It's just so hard to like land straight. Nope. Three hours later. No, I'm gonna get this quick. Damn it! See, this is where you can see the hours upon hours of gameplay going into this. Like, I just cannot stop playing it. And it's almost like I'm at the skate park. Ooh, there was a flare whip anyway. So, we'll just go with that. That was a banger in normal motion. And I say normal motion because one of the features that I figured out about an hour in after, like, looking like a, a goof the whole time is you can actually go slow-mo. So, you click in the button... And now you can see it's actually in slow-mo. And uh, it'll actually teach you how to pump so much better. That was actually a poor example, but you'll see I start to go higher and higher. And pretty much, I think the most whips I've ever done in this now is six. Because you slowly and slowly get higher and higher. But uh, as you can see, it's not too realistic when it's in slow-mo. So it's kind of annoying, but it's definitely a good way to practice and learn. Because trust me, when you first start playing this game, it's going to be really, really hard. Yeah, there's just some examples. But there's also some cool gaps. I'll, I'll, let's just pause right now. I'll reset when I'm in a new gap location that I learned from the old potato. Let's get this gap going. And then I want to show you the street plaza. Because that's also pretty fun. Here we go. Let's hit the gap. Hit the gap, boy. Three whip bar. Three down whip bar. Yeah, that counts. We can just roll with that. But uh, here we go. We're going to go over the street plaza. I'm going to show you some street moves. First try? No, not first try. See, you have to like run to your bike if it's away from you. God damn it. Alrighty, I'm set up in the street plaza and I'm just going to show you like what you can do on rail and stuff like that. So basically, you can see you've got the basics. You can grind the rail. And one thing I did notice is like, if you don't spin before you jump, you spin really close. But if you sp start turning before you jump, nice. If you start turning before you jump, you can spin like really quick, which is kind of weird, but it's kind of realistic because in real life, when you half cab and you're turning, you can spin out of it really quick like that. But uh, it's kind of difficult to get on the rails every time. 
as you can see there. But you kind of get used to it and you just play around with it and you'll eventually get on and fail like I do. But you'll eventually get it. It's just not as easy as you would think. But you can like manual and you can uh, nose many. First pop, barry out, bullets, done. That's some street steves right there. But uh, let me just hit this rail up real quick and get this for you. And then barry out. Oh boy! Manny, Manny, Manny whip. Oh! Yeah, so you get the drift on that. But uh, so if you're into street, BMX, then mate, this is good for you. If you're into park, it's good for you. And even if you don't even ride BMX, this is good for you. Because uh, I'm just doing my, I just do my scooter tricks on here, boy. It's just not going to be as easy. Oh, it's not going to be easy straight out. Trust me. I, I mean, I might still be looking like I'm shocking at this, but I think I'm pretty good for, for a day's worth of riding. But uh, yeah, pretty much. That's going to be it for this. I just wanted to give you a little run up. Like obviously the graphics are awesome. Everything looks cool. Uh, you can't change your character or anything yet, but hopefully if we get enough people buying this game and into it, then we're going to be able to get upgrades and updates and stuff like that and be able to do different things. But obviously this is just, I don't know how big of a project this is for the people, but uh, hopefully if we can get some money behind it, they'll put some more effort into it and there'll be a bunch more stuff. But uh, let me just go through a few of the tricks because you may not know, but there's a lot of tricks and I haven't done them. But I'm just going to do a little montage right now of all my favorite clips and enjoy. Chucky B. Alright, there you have it. There's like an hour compilation of uh, a bunch of tricks that I could pull off. Some realistic, most of them not realistic and just crazy. I thought I could just, I would just see how crazy I could go. So if you see any of those tricks, make sure you go try them uh, after you download the game. I guarantee you they will take you a while to land. And if they don't, then I'm really impressed. Netflix. 
No, but seriously, uh, just quick, you guys, I'm on the Xbox home screen right now. I'm just going to quickly show you how to download BMX Streets Pipe real quick. Uh, basically, I'm on the home screen. Scroll across to the store. Go down to search. Write in BMX Streets. I'm sure you only have to write in BMX, but there it is right there. And it is 15 Australian dollars, so I'm not sure what that converts to, to, to anything else, but... Make sure you go download it, support them, and uh, yeah, get your shred on. Alrighty, so that's going to be it for the video today. Obviously, it was a little bit different than usual, but if you do like me playing Xbox and stuff like that, let me know because I'll do it more often. If uh, enough people want to watch it, then I don't mind streaming games, playing whatever. If you got another game I should play, let me know in the comments, and uh, there's a good chance I'm going to play it. So thanks for watching. Make sure you smack that thumbs up button for all the cool BMX tricks, and uh, make sure you go buy that uh, BMX Streets game and uh, just support them. They're, they're doing an awesome job, and I'm so stoked that they made that video game and I hope you all enjoy playing it but uh that's gonna be it for this video thank you very much make sure you subscribe see you in my next video